Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to give you step-by-step -step demonstration of installation and configuration of Open LDAP server on Ubuntu 15.04 Linux edition. Now before we go with the installation and configuration part of Open LDAP server on Ubuntu 15.04, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is Open LDAP, what are its components and something brief about the history. Now as you can see on the screen, I have opened the website, official website of Open LDAP that is openldap.org and it says Open LDAP software is an open source implementation of lightweight directory access protocol. Basically, it was released under its own BSD style license called the Open LDAP license and LDAP is a platform independent protocol which means that it can be installed on not only Linux but also on Windows, on HP UX, Macintosh, Solaris and other operating systems. The latest website, you can say the version on the website which is available right now is Open LDAP 2.4.44 which was released on 5th of February 2016, 17 days ago. If we talk of the history, Open LDAP project was started in 1998 by Kurt Zellinga. The project started by cloning the LDAP reference source from the University of Michigan where a long running project had supported development and evolution of LDAP protocol until that project's final release in 1996. Now if we talk of the main components, Open LDAP has three main components which you can see on the website also that is SLAPD that is standalone LDAP daemon which contains the LDAP daemon and associated modules and tools. The second component is the libraries which is implementing the LDAP protocol and ASN.1 basic encoding rules that is BER. And the third thing is the having client software which includes LDAP search, LDAP add, LDAP delete and others. Now in addition to this, LDAP project is a home to number of sub projects that is called JL. DAP that is LDAP class libraries for Java, JDBC LDAP, Java, JDBC LDAP bridge driver, LDAP C++, LDAP class libraries for C++, Fortress which is the role based identity access management Java SDK and LMDP that is memory mapped database library. So now we know that what is actually meant by LDAP and if you want to have more, you can just browse over here on these type of links. We have support, we have admin guide, start guide. If you click over here, you can find all the, you can say commands which are being required. So without wasting time, let us come to our Ubuntu operating system and let us start with the LDAP configuration. So let me log in. Now here are the steps which I have already given uh, you in the below video links so that you can configure it without any problem. So before we go with the you can say the installation part let us first of all start with some basic configuration. We have to log in with the root with the command su space minus and let me give the password. Now the first thing is that that we have to give the host name to this Linux machine. So for that I have to open a file that is gedit which is the graphical editor slash etc slash hostname. Hostname is the file which is located in slash etc directory. So over here you can find the hostname is default given as Ubuntu. I just delete it and I give the new name that is server.ldap.com. I just save it. Now it will, it will not be able to give you the good challenges, you can say the observations unless or until you don't, uh, you can say restart the server. So for that we have to reboot the server. So I give the command reboot. So let us, uh, you can say pause the video for some time and let us return when it restarts. So now you can see that the server has started. So let me give view and full screen. So let us drag over here and let us log in with the root again. And now if I type the name that is host name, now you can find that it is given server.ldap.com. Now our server is very good in order to start the open LDAP configuration. So the first step is to install open LDAP software with this command that is apt hyphen get install slapd ldap utils. So let us copy it and let us paste it. So you can see that it is requiring about uh, uh, 1.9 MB and we will be uh, using the latest software. So let us press Y and let us press enter. So during the configuration, you will be asked the administrator password. So give that password, which is the root password. 
So now you can see that it is pre-configuring the packages. And now let us give the administrator password. The administrator password will be the same of the root password. So let me give the administrator password and let me confirm the password. So the next step which we have to follow is the configuring of open LDAP. So let us wait till it finishes. So everything is very easy if you follow step by step. So let us clear this and now let us open one file that is gedit slash etc slash ldap slash ldap.conf. So now you can see that we are having this file. So you have to make it sure that the file looks like this. I have already given the file like this. So let me copy this file over here till this. Let me copy and now let me remove everything over here. So you can find this every configuration over here. You can change the name, whatever you like it. So let me save and let me close it. So the next thing is to configure the, you can say the S L A P D. So for that, let us give the command that is D P K G, which stands for Debian package hyphen reconfigure space S L A P D. So now the first uh, screen appear. If you enable this option, no initial configuration or database will be created for you. So omit open LDAP server configuration. So make it sure that it is default and you don't have to press yes. Otherwise, whole of the configuration will be spoiled. So let us select no itself. So now let us enter the DNS domain name, which has already been set. That is LDAP.com. So now you can see that everything is coming with default. So let us press OK. So organization name, if you want to change, you can change, but otherwise there is no need. If you want to change, you can change it. So let's press OK. And again, we have to re-enter the administrator password, which means the root password. So let me enter and let me confirm the password. So here you will be asked for the database. So make it sure you have the default database that is HDB. So I just press OK. Now you will be asked, select whether do you want the database to be removed uh, when SLADB is purged. So let us don't press yes. So press no itself. So move old database. So let us press yes. And now the last step which we have that is open LDAP, that is LDAP version 2 protocol, allow LDAP version 2 protocol. So let's press no. So everything has been configured. So now if everything has gone fine, let us test the server with the following command that is LDAP search hyphen space X. So now you can see that the response has come. So now we have to give the next part that is part B of my video that is LDAP server administration. So for that I have to install PHP LDAP admin package. So let us install this package. So apt hyphen get install php ldap admin. Let's press enter. So now you can see that it is required to have the 8 MB, almost an 8 MB of the package. So let us press Y and let us download this package. So it will not be taking much time. So after that, we have to configure one file. So just one thing I would like to tell you that I am using gedit graphical editor so that you can have better visibility. If you are an expert more, you can even use vi editor, vim editor, nano editor or whatever you want to like. So gedit is okay for me so that for better visibility. So all the commands which I am giving you is uh, already available downstairs so you can use as such. Just follow step by step procedure. So it is enabling the site. Everything is going fine. I think so. So we have to set some values in our configuration file so that we can come with that main configuration. So it will not take much time. So I will not pause the video. So I want that you should be able to see what is happening all around. Just wait for a couple of seconds. 
So now you can see that Apache has enabling the module PHP 5. So till it happens, let us first of all again open another terminal and let us have the IP address of this machine because we require it. So now you can see that the IP address is 192.168.117.211. So here is the IP address. Okay, so we require this IP address in order to set some parameters. So now you can see that everything has been set up. So let us open this file gedit slash etc slash php ldap admin slash config.php. So we have to define some LDAP server. So let's come downstairs. Let's come downstairs, downstairs. Okay, appearance. Okay. So let us search this value. Find. Let's search. Yes. So I've got it. So it is available on uh, line number 285. So the first value which you have to change is a server name. So it is given my LDAP server. So I just type my name that is Anand LDAP server. So the next value which you have to edit is to set the LDAP server IP address over here. So it is written server host IP address which is set to local host. So we have to change this to our IP address which I have already shown you. That is 192.168.117.211. So after that, we have to change this server domain name that is set value to login bind base array. So we have to check this IP address to this DC to LDAP, which we have already given that is LDAP.com and server bind that is LDAP. We have to search for this again. Yes. So again, we have to write the DC admin to ldap.com and now last one step that is custom appearance let me search so let me again search for this file again let me copy let me search find this one Let me full search it. Yes, so here it is written false. So you have to change it to true so that we can have uh, the good template warning. So let us save it and let us exit this file. So now what you have to do is to give this command system CTL restart Apache 2. So let us wait for the server to restart. And now after that, we will be opening the main website. So it will take some time. So we have to go to the browser and let us type this address that is IP address slash PHP LDAP. So I think so that it has started. So let us go to my windows. So let me give this IP address HTTP 192.168.117.211 php ldap admin so voila i can say that uh, the ldap server has been configured properly so click on login and now we have to give the root password that is my password and let us authenticate so now you can see that i have logged into my server and now what we have to do is to just click over here login as domain so we have to create an organization unit so just click on plus and now let us create a new you can say cn admin so now you can see that create a new entry and now let us create generic organization unit so now let us create an organization unit with the name sales so let us click on 
create object so you can see that it has created this object entry so let us click on commit so now you can find that the organization unit sales has been created so now what we have to do is to create a group so let us click on this create a child entry and now what you have to create is to create a POSIX group so click on this and now go to group that is sales hyphen group so let us click on create object and now click on comment so now you can see that two entries are there that is sales group has been created and now let us create a user so click on this group and now let us create a new child entry and let us create on generic user account so let me find generic user account so now what you have to do I just create my name Nair I can give my name that is I can give the GID that is sales group directory will be okay let me give this uh, name as okay directory will be slash Anand and if I want to write the password I can write the password shell will be bin oblique sh and let me type the password and the UID has been created so let us create the object and now click on comment so the user has also been created so you can see and now we can create another user also so let us go back and see the results so let's search ldap search hyphen x and voila we can see everything has been coming so in this video I have demonstrated how to install open LDAP server configure it properly on Ubuntu 15.04 but I will be installing this server also on Red Hat also and also on Fedora in my coming videos in the near future so do give it this a shot it's a very good server to use it's a very good server to connect do give the like to this video if you like it thank you so